Hello people, are you ready to get started to this course? I would like to start this first lesson by providing you a summary of the LGBT history. So, what is actually LGBT? It is a social and political movement that advocates the full tolerance and fights against discrimination and homophobic behaviors. This movement calls for tolerance and equal rights for LGBT people, since there is still a denial of full LGBT rights. LGBT stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender, which are the main representative groups of this movement. Thanks to the fight through numerous demonstrations and initiatives, Many countries have changed their laws to include in their legal system the right that every human being has to be accepted and respected. Don't you think it's sad that someone is treated unfairly because of their sexual orientation? Well, over years and centuries, this has been a reality and sadly it still happens nowadays, just to the fact of loving another person. Many people have suffered a lot and so many have been assassinated and persecuted because of these prejudices. So this is basically what the course is about. At the beginning of the movement, there were some problems with the word uh, homosexual to refer to those people who like people of the same sex. So the turning point for sexual diversity came on the 28th of June in 1969. And what happened? Well, Many demonstrations took place in this day and this group fought back against ongoing police raids to call for equal rights. Therefore, gay pride is commemorated worldwide each 28th of June. Over the years, and thank you to laws enforcement, this group is known nowadays as LGBT, which is an acronym which includes the entire community and not only gays, because this is a very uh, diverse community and group. Now let's talk about the four public figures that I've chosen for this course. What we are going to do in the first place is identifying and pointing out the distinctive features of each of them. In my case, I've decided to represent four people, two women and two men, with different sexual orientation. In the first place, I'm going to refer to Freddie Mercury, a very well-known British singer, best known as the lead vocalist of the rock band Queen. Okay, let's see different pictures to identify which are the most characteristic features of this person. As you can see, the moustache is a characteristic that stands out, as well as the teeth. But the most distinctive feature is this triumph pose you can see in lots of the images on internet. The second person I'll be drawing is Virginia Woolf. Virginia Woolf was an English writer and one of the most important authors of the English modernism and a worldwide well-known feminist icon. Woolf played an important role in the Victorian Society of London and was a member of the Bloomsbury Group. What Virginia Woolf did was basically fighting against almost everything was socially disapproved. Even so, she has become one of the most important writers of the 20th century. She is also known for her novels and the influence they had on society. For instance, Orlando is a well-known novel where Virginia, in a subtle way, addresses uncommon topics like sexual topics and relationships between men and women of the same sex. I'm mentioning this because uh, at that time uh, these topics were not socially approved, so it was really difficult for anyone, especially a woman, to talk about these kind of things. Basically, this is what I wanted to highlight about Virginia Woolf. She was a great writer and one of the most important icons of the feminist thought. 
Even nowadays, as I said, she's well known because of her novels and for her particular narrative style. Okay, I must add that Virginia Woolf wasn't her real name. Her original name was Adeline Virginia Stephen, and what she did was take an advantage of her status as a novelist to change it into Virginia Woolf, as we all knew her. Okay, sorry, guys, I just got away from the main topic here. So, here we have now Oscar Wilde who was an Irish writer and a poet, considered as one of the most important playwrights in London. He's best remembered for his wit. Nowadays, he's known for his plays and also for his early death. OK, and in the last place, I'm going to talk about Frida Kahlo, a well-known Mexican painter. Well, although her homosexuality hasn't been openly recognized, it has been claimed that she engaged casual relationships frequently and that she had lots of lovers. So that's why we can say that she liked trying different things. It's also known that she had relationships with both men and women. She was also married to a man, but their marriage is said to be kind of weird and particular. So guys, I'll leave it here because I've been talking a blue streak. These are the four famous people I've chosen and in the next lesson we'll see them in depth. See you!